Hello my Aries. You guys, I just recorded a whole freaking video and when I went to play it back to edit what I needed to, it had absolutely no sound. Okay, so this is my second time doing a video for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. This is you versus them guys. Ooh, cards flying out here. <clears throat> if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Let's see. What's going on for my Aries? Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had before. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. I'll get my notebook together here. All right. Huh. I, I feel like it was one where you guys felt like um, you learned a lot. You learned a lot from this person. Um, at one point in time, it was happy. And, um, yeah. Let's see how this plays out. For them, they were guarded. This person was guarded. And I think that you felt that. Let me shift some of this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> I think you felt that they were... Um, very indecisive, very guarded. You really didn't know exactly where your relationship was headed. Um, but I think there was a lot about this person that you knew, but a lot that you didn't. As I was shuffling, the moon fell out. I feel like this person um, keeps a lot of secrets. They are somebody that's very mysterious here. <clears throat> I feel like both of you are parents. Um, maybe you guys had like this blended family. Maybe not children together, but you could have. But I feel like, you know, there. this person probably also had like mommy issues. So that was, and I think you kind of sensed that. So I think you had a level of um, patience with this person. Let's see what's keeping them away. I think they are full of themselves here. I think this is somebody that really likes attention, for real. Um, they may, like, even if they have, like, a full-time or a, are in a committed relationship, they may still, like, talk to people, flirt with people. They are that kind of individual um, Leo energy here. But they like attention. It's like... Um, that's what they live for. Okay. Let's see what's currently going on with you guys. You have walked away. You have left this behind. Um, because I think all of this secrecy, trying to pull them out of their shell, trying to be there for them, um, you know, making excuses for them, even for their behavior. Maybe they did not have a good relationship with their mother. Maybe their childhood was dif difficult. Um, but I think it was draining you, okay? It was draining you. The sun was going down, I think. You, you know, you were losing your happy, so you decided it was best for you just to leave that alone. You don't want to be involved in a situation where there is no transparency or somebody always needs somebody to lift them up. They always need attention, you know? Hmm. What's going on with them? There's something that this person is trying to do with you, Aries. Now I think they're so focused on wanting your attention back. There's something that they are trying so hard to do here. They feel that you have walked away. You guys were probably already separated, but, you know, energetically... They feel you taking your energy away, okay? Let's see what the outside influence is for you guys. What's influencing you? Hmm. You're just trying to get your stability back. Um, you only really want to be involved with somebody that is all in, that is on the same um, playing field with you. Um, you want somebody that's supportive. 
because you're supportive. You want somebody that's going to be there for you through thick and thin because that's how you ride. You know, so you don't want to accept anything less than that. Let's see what their outside influence is. Look at that. I feel they think that you are involved with somebody. You're dating somebody. The point is, you're not looking at them anymore. They feel like you're looking at someone else. There's somebody else in your energy. Um, they're very paranoid that you have moved on. That um, you're not attracted to them anymore. You've turned your back on them. Okay. Let's see what's coming up in the future for you guys here. Hmm. I feel like this person... Not only will you be able to address issues that um, past issues or whatever you need to address with this individual if they come towards you, um, but you will so, you will be able to do so without feeling overly emotional. You'll be able to do that from an intellectual standpoint. Okay, now the flip side of that is I feel like this person is coming. They're coming in the near future because they do not want you to walk away here with this Eight of Cups, you guys, okay? Yeah. So let's see what's coming for them. They are quite confused. They feel like you have options and they're not one of them, okay? Um, they are all over the place. They are all over the place. If you notice that they don't have any cups here, they have these hidden feelings here, very secretive, the way that, um, you know, this is what you feel like is keeping you guys apart is their secrecy, um, them not really divulging how they feel. But the only cups they have here is the Seven of Cups confusion. And they're a little delusional. They were anyway, feeling like, you know, they can get or have anybody, anything that they wanted to here. Um, they are coming to reality. But they want that because, again, this person thrives off of feeling um, like somebody thinks they're high and mighty. You know, they thrive off of that. Um, but... They really feel like you guys have turned your back. You have options. They want to manifest this relationship back into existence here. They're trying to figure out how to do this, my Aries friends, okay? So beware. Let's see what the blockage is for you guys. Speak your mind, speak your mind, speak your mind, okay? Could be two individuals that um, <laughs> that are vying for your attention, my Aries. Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, air, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like, you know, you guys are... are um, you haven't spoken your piece in the past. I think you have been kind of... Um, you know, passive in situations just to keep the peace here. But do not keep the peace. Do not keep the peace if this person comes towards you. You say exactly what's on your mind. Okay? And if you have to cut that bullshit out, you cut it out. Alright? So, let's see what their blockage is. But don't be mean about it. Don't be mean about, about it because, see, when, you, when you're when you mean about it or when you are out of control with it, it kind of gives them that attention that they're seeking. Don't give it to them. Be calm, cool, collected, okay? Their blockage is the fact that they are, they are too caught up in, will she take me back or will he take me back? Are they still thinking about what I did to them? Are they over it? Is it is it has it been enough time for me to approach them? And you know, all these different things, whatever they did to you, whatever they hid from you, 
if they cheated on you, if they lied to you, if they mistreated you, they are concerned about all of that right now. That's what's blocking them because they so want to approach you, um, but they don't know how to. They feel like they would be successful with you. But they don't know how to with the Nine of Swords over here. Because you have turned your back. Okay? You have turned your back. But they really want to come towards you here. And they need to speak. Stop doing all this freaking thinking. Stop trying to do all this manipulating. Um, and, and just come with it. Just come with it. All right, let's see what the advice is for you guys. Hmm. This is you healing. We have the sun, the moon, and the stars here. That's very significant, my Aries friends. So even though this person is has probably been an ass, this person you probably have shared many, many, many lifetimes and karma with. You probably felt like, you know, you guys were meant to be. They probably felt very familiar to you. And I think that's probably why you held on to was because you felt the fam familiarity with this person. Okay? Keep healing. Keep loving. Keep showing your love to people. Keep your harmony. Keep your balance in check, okay? Don't let anybody interfere with that. Let's see what their advice is. <laughs> They're going to have to suck it up and bear whatever it is. Bear the consequences of whatever they have done. And approach you with the truth. Because you will not accept anything less than that. What is the outcome here? Hmm. I think you're regretful, not really regretful, but you are sorry that things have ended this way, I feel. But I feel like this person is truly the one that is at a loss. Look at him, just wandering. Just wandering. They're steady looking for something. The hermit looks for the star. But you guys see where the star is. It's you. Okay? They look for their life partner. So in order for this to happen, they need to turn around and face what they have done. Here. You continue to heal. You cannot. You cannot feel sorry for someone not changing, for someone not giving you what you have given them. It's time to get up and keep walking. I think you're feeling sorrowful because you know that this could have been a great connection, that this person sabotaged it is what I'm feeling here. Okay? So that is what I have for you, my Aries friends, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.